earlier today, today being November 12th, I was watching what you're watching now, the swing machine. And I was watching it in conjunction with our annual members. And at the time, the market was predominantly long, predominantly long. And the swing machine tees up for us our orders in this column. It tells us how long we've been in the trades in these two columns, either short or long. It calculates the trade purse. It gives us the entry price. It tells us the time, the T time in which it went in. It gives us the date and then it gives us this integrated information to help us monitor and regulate the trade. This column is one of the most important and it's new to Swing Machine. It's what we call the next best trade. Think about it. The next best trade. Not this is the best trade. Not get in, get in now, go, go, go. No, it's not saying that. It says the next best trade. You see, folks, many traders are eager, new traders are eager to trade. An experienced trader, a seasoned trader, someone who does it for a living, he's very, or she, is usually very, very patient. They know exactly what they're looking for. Now, when you open up your watch list or whatever it is, or you have a day to trade, maybe you're off for a day or you got a couple of days, you want to get the trade on. You want to get in there and you want to do something. And the reality of it is, most of the time, it's very, very unlikely that a trade is presenting itself on any kind of time frame at the very moment you turn on your equipment. But the beginning trader will force it. I'm here, I'm ready, I've got money, and I'm gonna trade. <laughs> and we teach just the opposite. Not only do we teach it, we give you the tools to be patient. So this morning, when the market was all green and I turned on my equipment and I was not in the market, the next best trade told me, Don, the next best trade is going to be a short. On all the markets. And you know, I got a little eager. I did. I got to confess. And I went in a little early. And it didn't work out. I didn't wait for the signal here. And when I did, I lost $140. I had to stop out. And then I had to remind myself, you know, Don, be patient. Wait for the trade. Wait for it to turn on. And when it did, we put these trades on. One futures contract in the ES, the GC, gold, the ES is the S&P, short. NQ is the NASDAQ, short. The GC, long, gold. And the US is the Treasury. Now the SPXW, that is a put. Now generally, we're trading intraday. That is, we put our cash, we deploy our cash, our trading capital, we make our money, and we get to the sidelines. If you were to equate it to a football game, it's like screen pass, wide right, you know, a little toss over the middle, you know, five yards, six yards, eight yards, nothing really big, but we just do it consistently. But when we put these trades on, and you can ask our followers, you can ask our members, I said to our members, every once in a while, every once in a while if you know where the overall market is 
the intraday trade has the possibility to be stretched into something big. Now, not every day, not every other day, but every once in a while. And that was the case today. When I put these trades on, I said to our members, and you can ask them, that the ES trade had a likelihood of profiting about a thousand bucks or more over the next one to two days. That the NQ trade, now currently at 745, the same, about a thousand bucks or more over the next one or two days. That gold, same, a thousand or more. The U.S., which is lagging, it's only up 63, it was up 600, could, have, could produce 1,000 or more. And the put that we put on, that has 24 days to it, we think could generate five to $10,000. But putting the put aside, we think in the span of just a day or two, those four contracts can generate four to five thousand dollars. Now, was I a genius? Did I turn on CNBC? Did I look up Zero Hedge? Did I look up Drudge? Did I listen to Sue Cabrera or Judge Wapner or the Nigerian brothers to know what side of the market? No. I came here to the swing machine and I came here first and it told me what the next best trade is. And you see here now that it's telling us the next best trade is a buy and it probably is, but the signal hasn't come and it may not come for another day or so, even though it's on a five or a one minute basis. The beauty of swing machine is that it interprets the markets for you. You don't get a case of vertigo. You see these guys, they're looking at a chart, chart after chart, oh, here's a trend line, here's a trend line, and this stochastic, and this MACD, and this is doing that, and that's doing this, and if this is doing that, you wanna do this. It's all nonsense. You know why, in large part, maybe some of it works sometimes, but it's delivered in a format that you can't possibly process and you can't possibly continue to do day in and day out. And you'll lose. You may have a few winning hits, but over the long term, you will lose. Swing Machine is not based on any of that garbage, but what it is based on is very, very good, very, very sound. Otherwise, the markets you know, wouldn't be all green and all red as it's doing now. They would be inconsistent. And it speaks to you in English. It tells you what side of the market you want to be on before, before you place the trade. And then it tells you in the tea time when to get in. Folks, we couldn't make it any more simple. But if you want complicated, fine. Don't come to our website. Don't come to us. I'm not a broker. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a guy who is fed up with the crap of Wall Street and fed up with the internet gurus. We've been here a long time, years. This was developed years ago. We don't advertise. It's word of mouth. Our members can trade from the swing machine, they can trade time charts, they can trade Renko charts, point and figure charts, Kagi charts. And if you don't know what those are, well, that's a problem in and of itself. For $1,500, we'll put you through what we call a jumpstart program. And at the conclusion of the jumpstart program, if you successfully complete it, We'll apply what you paid toward the annual lease. We will subsidize your education. We try to give you every opportunity to say, hey, Don, 
this is crap. This isn't for me. I can't make any money. I can't do this. Nobody else would do that. And we're also loyal to our members. When you join, the pricing is the pricing. We won't increase it on you. I'm bagged on at Stock Market Caddy, and somebody's calling now. So I'm going to go answer the phone. But today it's 720. My phone number is 813-758-8263. We'd love to chat with you. The time is now. We don't really care how high the market goes. We don't care how low the market goes. It doesn't matter. We're interested in what is the next best trade and knowing how to execute it mechanically, strategies, feel free to give me a call.